Hi, my name is Jeffrey. And I'm Nizeto. Yeah, so we'll be heading to Mulongo to have some fish. And it's <laughs> going to be fun. I'm looking forward to it, for sure. Yeah, so it's going to be fun. And we will together enjoy and experience together. Mm -hmm. I'm already looking forward to it. Hope to have a great experience. Don't uh, prefer going to KFC. So, what's your experience? Well, I think KFC is all around the world, so everybody goes there. If it wouldn't be, um, if the people wouldn't go there, it wouldn't be there at all, you know. So <laughs> <laughs> seeing it, 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 only being in this location already says that there are people that are going there. However, I would say maybe not the rich people. So they are more preferring to go somewhere else, uh, to a more McDonald's? fancy restaurant. Uh, McDonald's is the stuck on the same level as KFC, I would okay. say. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I hope I don't offend no, somebody that no, prefers you. <laughs> or KFC. You, you don't. Um, I think McDonald's and KFC is in general food for society. Mm -hmm. Whoever, it's normal to just go in there. Okay. Yeah, but it's better to try more of the, the local authentic food when you are within Uganda than I prefer the local. This is because to me I consider this as junk. I certainly agree with this. You agree with it? <laughs> yeah, the local yeah. food is really interesting here and it tastes amazing. You yeah. need to try it. Yeah. Even though after a whole month of only food eating this, mm. I was a bit of craving Western food again. Okay. <laughs> because, yeah, food is a bit different. It, it is it's quite dry at times, so you really need to get a juice next to it for okay. eating it. Mm. And it is also really heavy. Mm. So, um, even though people are telling me that they have enough vegetables in it, I like to disagree with this. Okay. Because. <laughs> 20% vegetables at, at maximum is not a lot. Okay. In, in Germany you would eat at times 50-50 uh, or when I'm cooking I'm sometimes just put 90% vegetables in it. Okay. <laughs> so just to yeah, have it a bit more yeah, easy to eat, more... I don't know, it's, I miss something at times here. Okay. So would you want to prefer trying um, to prepare the, the local dishes that you've been eating in Germany, like if you get that time, like a, an opportunity. I certainly would love to. <laughs> but do you really know how to prepare? Yeah, I was living in a student housing for two years now, okay. so if I wouldn't be able to cook for myself, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I would have spent way too much money. If eating outside in Europe is very expensive. So uh, it's a survival skill to know how to cook when you are studying. <laughs> <laughs> That's interesting. I, I think I will also try it one day, to, like to to see if you can prepare that yeah. authentic food. But I think that would be later when I'm back from my I trip. I certainly would love to, because in my hostel I'm not allowed to cook. Um, okay. I think they are somehow afraid of burning a hostel down or whatever okay. I'm not allowed to cook this means I need to go to the restaurant mm. and actually I miss my own food way more than Western food no. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you you prefer preparing your own food uh, eating from uh, eating food which is prepared by other people yeah certainly I do I, I think I'm the opposite because me I prefer someone to cook for me then I eat I just eat yeah. so I'm not I'm only trying good in like preparing food for myself then eating it because I okay personally I don't have time because I do four jobs so literally I don't have that time for cooking that's why I hoped to always go buy ready-made food of good food which are already pre-cooked so that's what I find it easier for me but I think yeah, it's also important we you, you try preparing your own food. Yeah, but I think it will come in by around November there. You will try. 
I'm sure I'll have some space for you where you could try to prepare your own food and then you enjoy it. Because you can't wait. You just look forward to that, yeah. But I'm sure uh, in November I'll be back. Uh, you will try. Yeah, it would be good experience. So uh, I want to move away from that place to at least. I told you I need a bigger space. Yeah, which I can work night, day, so that I can manage these three jobs that I'm doing. Welcome to Mulongo. This is one of the sites in, uh, in Munyonyo and we are here near the Lake Victoria, the, the, the largest lake in East Africa and I'm here with my friend. No, have to change like this. So that's why we have to do it this way. Always when, uh, and then two, we, we need to uh, like kind of a stick. Mm -hmm. You hold it like this. Then, oh. then when you have the stick, that's when you're able to see. How is the fish? Huh? How, the, how is the fish? Big. Big. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm happy that I said we only Hello. want one mm. because I would never get this alone. <laughs> so you need help to help me. No, I wanted you to try it all and finish. <laughs> mm? For us in Uganda, we have a lot of food, right? Mm -hmm. So there's abundant food. All right. And I'm happy that I had half of it. But you didn't finish the whole fish. I wanted no, to I just said that I'm happy that I had half of it. No, you made us to share one fish. Me, I wanted you to eat one fish alone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So next time you, you need to struggle and finish one. When we have a bit of a smaller one, maybe. Maybe, not this big one. Not this big one, definitely not. I'm full of <laughs> but, but it's fun, it's fun like trying it out. <laughs> So it's, it's a good experience. Okay, I got already into my boundaries. <laughs> <laughs> so we are here in Mulongo. Mulongo. Let me show you around the place. 